Hello friends, a uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our sixth session for theory of sets. In the previous session, we discussed uh, De Morgan's law and uh, some other important laws also. In this session, we'll start taking the problems. So just get ready with your paper and pen and start solving the problems right with me. Okay, so let's begin. Now we see this problem. Out of 800 boys in a school, 224 played cricket, 240 played hockey, 336 played basketball. Of the total, 64 uh, played both basketball and hockey, 80 cricket and basketball, 40 cricket and hockey, 24, uh, 24 all the three games. The number of boys who did not play any game. Okay, so this problem can be easily solved using Venn diagrams. Now, I just draw So that is a entire set that is 800 students okay in this we are having three circles one two three okay so that is cricket hockey and basketball you start filling from the center data that is the common portion among the three circles right so here 24 students are there who played all the three games so I write 24 here okay 24 is a part of cricket hockey and basketball then you start with the second okay 64 basketball and hockey so basketball and hockey 64 so this complete portion is 64 now out of that 24 is already here so remaining 40 I will write here okay just be very clear about it this entire portion is 64 because 64 played bo both basketball and hockey right so basketball and hockey the common portion is this complete portion out of this this is common among the three that is cricket hockey and basketball so this total is 64 so for 24 is here 40 is here okay that's very important then next is cricket and basketball uh, 80 cricket and basketball 80 so 24 is here so remaining 56 is here okay so this complete is 80 so if 24 is there 56 will be here okay then uh, 40 for cricket and hockey so cricket and hockey 40 so this complete circle is of uh, this area not circle this complete portion is 40 so 24 is here so 16 is here right now we have filled up all the four now start from beginning 224 played cricket now this entire circle is of 224 right so this plus this plus this I suppose this is a this is say B and this is say C okay so this plus this plus this plus this is equal to 224 that means a plus 16 plus 24 plus 56 is 224 right so a will be 224 minus all this thing so a is 128 similarly this plus this plus this plus b 16 plus 24 plus 40 plus b that is a total of hockey so hockey is 240 right so b will be 160 similarly the third one this plus this plus this plus this is cricket so cricket is um, sorry basketball that is 336 so 56 plus 24 plus 40 plus C is 336 so we can calculate C so C is equal to 216 right so I just write that is 128 that is 216 that is uh, 160 right now you have filled up the Venn diagram completely 
okay now various questions may be asked based on this information so if you have drawn the venn diagram each and every question can be answered very easily the very first question is how many people play two games right how many people play exactly two games so exactly two games means this portion this portion and this portion that is the common between exactly two circles not three circle exactly two circles so exactly two games so that is 16 plus 56 plus 40 so that is exactly two games okay next is at least two games at least two games that means two or three games so two or three games two games is this 16 plus 56 plus 40 and three games is 24 so that is at least two games exactly three games 24 exactly one game that is this portion 128 160 and 216 so these people play exactly one game either cricket or hockey or basketball okay so this way various questions can be asked how many people play only cricket and hockey so that is 16 how many people play only hockey and basketball 40 now how many people play hockey and basketball then 40 plus 24 only hockey and basketball then 40 if hockey and basketball then 40 plus 24 that is 64 so you should be clear with the terminology with the language of the question okay if at least is there what should happen if at least is not there exactly at least not more than more than with every term you should be clear okay now here in this case particularly in this case the number of boys who did not play any game is see the universal set is of 800 right and this complete thing is actually a union b union c or we can say c union h union b right so from this entire set if we deduct this data will be able to get the remaining portion that is the number of boys who did not play any game so precisely what we have to do from 800 we need to deduct a b c that is 128 we need to deduct 216 then 160 then 16 then 40 then 56 and then 24 right so this entire data this entire data is actually this particular portion so if you deduct this entire calculation from 800 you will be able to get the number of boys who did not play any game so you just add up all this and deduct it from 800 you'll be able to get the answer so you should be conceptually clear how to solve the problems based on uh, three sets using Venn diagram okay uh, next we see Cartesian product of sets now what is Cartesian product of sets uh, let A and B are two non-empty sets then set of all ordered pairs A and B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B that means A is the element of set A and B is the element of set B that is that makes an ordered pair and that is called the Cartesian product okay and we denote it by A cross B so A cross B is uh, a B ordered pair where A belongs to A and B belongs to B if A is phi or B is phi then we define A cross B is phi that is null set okay so precisely it is very simple A cross B ordered pair will start from uh, the first element uh, should belong to A and the other should be from B so A P A Q B P B Q c p c q so that is a cross b and in case we have to find out b cross a then first element should be from b then p a p b p c q a q b q c right so that is cartesian product now in this case a cross b is not equal to b cross a okay you have to be very clear about it a cross b will be equal to b cross a only when a is equal to b okay number of elements in a cross b and uh, in B cross A will be same but the ordered pair will be different here you can see AP here is PA here is AQ here it is QA right so A cross B is not equal to B cross A but number of elements will be 
say. So that is obtained by number of elements in A into number of elements in B. So 3 into 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now see this, A is 2, 4, 5 and B is 7, 8, 9, then number of elements in A cross B. So that is 3 into 3, 9, as simple as that. Okay. Now some theorems are also there. A cross B, uh, A cross B union C is A cross B union A cross C. A cross B intersection C is A cross B intersection A cross C. For any three sets A, B, C, distributive property A cross B minus C. B minus C is what? Uh, difference of B and C. Right? Only B you can say. So A cross B minus C is A cross B minus A cross C. If A and B are non, are any two non-empty sets, then A cross B is equal to B cross A is possible only when A is equal to B. If A is subset of B, then A cross A will be subset of A cross B intersection B cross A. Okay, and if A is subset of B, then A cross C will be subset of B cross C for any set C. So these are the basic theorems that you need to keep in your mind. Okay, uh, applications of these theorems may be asked in your exams. So we'll be solving the problems based on Cartesian product also. Now this question, A is this, B is this and evaluate A union B, A intersection B, A minus B, B minus A. Okay. Uh, simply you can draw two circles to calculate everything that's A and that's B okay common elements right over here B and C are common elements then A over here and D over here so A union B all the elements that is A B C D that is A union B A intersection B are the common elements that is B and C so that is A union B, that is A intersection B. A minus B is this portion, that is only A. So A minus B is A, B minus A is only B, that is D over here. Okay, A cross B, A B, A C, A D, B B, B C, B D, C B, C C, C D, that's it. B cross A, B A, B B, B C. Similarly, you can find out all the other elements in A cross B and B cross A. So that's pretty simple. So friends, till here we have uh, covered up almost all the theory related to sets. Okay, so from the next session onwards, we'll be taking exclusively problems based on set theory. So do revise all the sessions before you come for the next session. Okay, I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.